Hello, I hope you're having a great day. So it was supposed to rain all day today and I was like, yes, I can get my bulbs ordered. I can get some of my succession plantings I need to get done done. And I can maybe sleep in a little bit. But guess what? It didn't rain that much. I think it only rained about two tenths. As a matter of fact, it didn't rain much at all because my water gauge doesn't even show any water in it. Unless it leaked or something. It feels a little wet out here, but I know we didn't get much in town, so maybe we didn't get much out here at all. Um, so I went around and I just picked a few. I picked some anemones. They're really short, um, but they're so pretty. And then I picked a lupine to do some testing with. And then I walked around and just kind of looked at stuff. Um, I do have, these are my final trays out here. And so there's four tomato plants, which I don't really know what to do with. I might have to either gift them or maybe I'll take them to the farmer's market and see if anybody wants them for cheap because I lost the tags because I was throwing them in yesterday and then they got jumbled. And I don't know which ones they are. I know they're one of three varieties. Then I have my mint, which I put half of the mint over there in that pot. And then I'm gonna put some mint in that pot, but that's still gonna leave me quite a bit of mint left. So those are two mint. I have my mahogany splendor hibiscus, which I could go throw that in the field. Um, I think that is a pink spires verbena. That didn't germinate very well for me, but that one sure did. And then I have dahlias, and then I have some dahlia tubers from last year. So I wasn't planning on doing dahlias, and I didn't really buy any nice dahlias. Um, I had some dahlias that were okay last year. They weren't in a good spot. They kind of got, like, shaded out and stuff. So I dug the tubers up and just saw if I could store them. Since I didn't have that many, it wasn't a very big project. And most of them survived just being stored in this house back here because we keep this house so the pipes aren't freezing so it must have been just a great temperature to store the dahlia tubers um so but i don't really have anywhere to put them so i might look around the farm and see because now i have quite a few <laughs> and i thought well i might as well get them in the ground and see if they grow because they're flowers and maybe i can cut them um and use them in bouquets if they I've heard that they don't have the best vase life, like three to four days. And with what I'm doing, I'm trying to get better vase life because I have to store them and then get them to florist or I make bouquets that I want to last. And I think a lot of people use the dahlias in weddings. And of course, that's kind of like they're done. Like they don't need to last as long, um, but they are beautiful. So you could put them in bouquets and then make it so the bouquet is still pretty if you have to take it out after three or four days. I just hate having flowers die in vases early because a lot of my flowers last so long that <laughs> it makes the other ones look bad when things die. But I don't know. I think people are learning about flowers and knowing that some just last longer than others. So anyway, those are my tasks for the day. Okay, if you remember my euphorbia snow on the mountain didn't do so well. And so I have this whole empty row here of the six foot holes. And as you can see, it was just going to be a weedy mess so i think i'm just going to roll this up um or cut it off right up here i don't really want to burn my drip that's under it i did that accidentally the other day um so i might cut it and then burn the ends like later when i want to use it again and then i think what i'll do is just put my dahlias in here um they are at 12 or 18 inch spacing So I think I'm going to start with this and see, just keep rolling it up as I go. Um, I think I'm just going to put them straight in the dirt. And if it, if they don't do well and it becomes a real weedy mess, I'll just weed eat it down in the summer and may, or maybe lay like a flat piece of black plastic or come up with something else. Um, it can be an experiment. <laughs> Okay, we will see how that kind of willy-nilly planting the dahlias works. I'm not that worried about it, like I said. Um, 
they weren't the best varieties they weren't like the big beautiful ones maybe this year they'll look a little bit better i guess we'll wait and see if not i might just leave the tubers in here and if i like and if i decide i want to do dahlias um i'll probably go and get some like really good tubers and do the best method of it so i'm not recommending this method to anyone i'm just showing you what i'm doing for the day and sometimes I just throw some stuff in just so I can kind of look at it and see what happens. So I don't have anything planned for after this Artemisia. And I have Mahogany Splendor Hibiscus over here, but then I have Blue Plarums planted. I don't know if it's gonna come up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the rest of my Mahogany Splendor Hibiscus in between these rows that are made for zinnias. I've only planted the one row over here so far. They're starting to come up. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so another little patch of that. And then I guess I can just fill the rest with some succession plantings of zinnias or cosmos. Or no, I think the deer like cosmos. So maybe zinnias. And I think over here is all dedicated to a succession of zinnias as well. So I found this random pack of ageratum. So I'm just going to go put it in. I'm not going to take you down to do that. And also I have this verbena pink spires and a little bit of hookera that I'm going to go try to put mixed in with that columbine down there. But there's just, oop. <laughs> it actually doesn't look that bad. It just bounced off the top. Um, so I'm gonna just do that really quick and get it done. So I'm literally down to one try of all of those trays I was hardening off and it has mint, peppermint, four tomatoes, I guess three peppers that I could probably find them for and then spearmint. And that's it. Everything else is in the ground that isn't getting hardened off yet. I did bring three trays out today to harden off and I'll probably start bringing more. I counted my basement. I still have 20 trays. So with those three, I have 23 trays left. Um, and some of them just aren't ready. Some of them didn't have really good germination. So I guess we'll just see how it goes and I'll be slowly putting those in as they get big enough. So right now I can move on, I think, to some other tasks. So one task I need to do is get all of the frost cloth off of those so that I can put the support netting on. So I'm gonna get that done. Okay, so I went ahead and weeded this row and got all the grass and everything out. And then I'm going to come back after lunch and see how easy this netting is to put on these hoops. Supposedly you can just put it on the hoops down the line and it makes it real easy to lift and go as the plants grow. So we'll see how it works. So the idea with this netting is that you can kind of raise it as the plants get higher and just keep giving them the support that they need to not flop over. I do have it pushed pretty low, but I am out here every day. So if I start noticing they're in it, I'll try to raise it before they get too tangled up in it and just keep giving them support. All right, I got that done too. Um, hopefully this will give really good support to my snapdragons and lisianthus. Yay. So last year, let me think about what. So I know my zinnias were out of control. <laughs> my amaranth was out of control. My cosmos were out of control. And my adjuratum was a little like floppy on the sides. Um, man, I can see why people like these hoop things though. It's really easy to put up the netting. It's easy to put frost cloth on and you can even make a little greenhouse out of it to grow like early crops so I, I get why everybody loves them they're just I think they're more expensive than they used to be because the prices of all the material went up but it's nice um Okay, so I got my gladiolas. I've got a 
net, I can move it up and down if I want. I did read that you're just supposed to leave it at half the size of what your plant will grow to. So maybe I should lift it off my snapdragons and wisianthus. Um, and then I got my amaranth, which I haven't, I don't know if you can even do it. Like it goes everywhere. So it might be a mistake. And then I think I'll pick up tomorrow. My cosmos are going to be tricky because I don't have a lot of space. So <sighs> bigger walkways. <laughs> I even made a note of that last year and then I got started and just started doing everything. And I was like, oh yeah, bigger walkways. So it is what it is. Um, but I think I'll pick that up tomorrow and then I'll see what I can do about the cosmos, the adratum and the zinnias. I might even contemplate keeping my cosmos cut lower instead of letting them get six feet tall um, because that way I might be able to manage without the netting and then I'd still have walkways. We'll see what happens. Um, I might have just been lucky last year and it wasn't that windy, but this year so far has been so windy that I don't really want to risk it. Um, so we'll see what I do with that, but I think I'm going to wrap it up, go put my truck back up and call it a day. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope everybody has a fantastic day.